Hey, good morning. Um, just barely. It's a little later in the day. Sun is already kind of getting up high in the sky. Anyway, um, today's just going to be probably a really easy five miles. It's kind of finishing off the mileage for the week, hitting the target goals. Uh, we had a really great time last night. We'll talk to talk to you more about it after the run. We have some friends in town. Anyway, let's go grind out these five miles. Hey everyone, what's up? Andy here. We are back from this morning's run. It was five miles. Um, yeah, kind of walking a little bit around the house today. Like I said, we have we have guests in town, so the extra bedroom, which I, I normally use to like set up, is um, in use. So for today, we're gonna move out to the couch, to the living room, and I'm gonna show you something real quick. Check this out. Um, you guys know we're from University of Missouri, and we have a Mizzou dedicated tree. Uh, when it comes on, it spins, which is pretty cool. Automatically, and it's on a timer, so that's good stuff. But anyways, let's uh, let's put this camera down and get to talking a little bit about today's run. Okay, there we go. So, so yeah, today's run, like I said, was only it was five miles. It was just kind of finishing off the mileage for the week, which the goal was to get to sixty. Let's see, does the watch light up? Can you see that there, right? There, 60 miles. So we achieved the goal for this week. Um, yeah, it was good. It was like eight and a half minutes per mile, something like that. Just chill, just getting through it. Weather was pretty nice, but really the thing I'm looking forward to most this weekend is just we have we have friends in town and it started off really great yesterday. So for those of you like not up in the Chicago area, um, well, first let me apologize. <laughs> We're gonna talk about a little bit more than just running, but uh, for those of you up in the Chicago area, if you ever come up here during Christmas, there's some great things. One of the great things is the Morton Arboretum. I believe they call it their Illumination Show. It's their holiday light show, and it's it's awesome. Buy tickets in advance because you have to, at least now you have to. I think maybe you used to be able to show up, but the COVID and all that sort of stuff, they just, it's tickets only. Um, <laughs> it's going to be really busy if you show up, so you got to park quite a ways away. You have to walk. Um, it's about half a mile, three quarters of a mile from like the farthest parking lot, which is where we were, to the gate of Illumination. But anyways, it's it's just this really cool, like a really cool. It's a mile loop inside the Morton Arboretum, and there's there's many more trails. Like quite a few runners actually go out there and use the Morton Arboretum. It's one of the few places you get some like elevation in Chicago. But anyways, the trail is just awesome. It's it's like set up in different segments, so. 
we start off, um, there's like the visitor center, you can get, you know, hot chocolate, cider, all that sort of stuff. And then you take off on the trail, and then there's just like these different stations set up. So one of the first ones, I don't remember what it's called, but it, it was like it was like a pot of trees that like disco balls on them, and it plays music, and they there's like there's lights all over the place, and there's lights reflecting off the tree, and there's like a show that goes on. It's really cool. Um, as you just kind of go around the trail, there's there's different parts of of these things. There's um, you know like beautiful crystal chandeliers like up in trees. There's um, like kind of sculptures. There's one, I think it was something like a, I think the title was like Open Your Heart or something like that. I'll put a picture up of it, but it was, it was really cool. You know, it's like two, three stories tall, like temporary sculpture with a with light feature. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as you just kind of make your way around, you get to look at all these lights. They have like s'mores and hot chocolates and fire pits and all that sort of stuff as you as you go. The coolest part is like, is like towards the end. And I, I mean, for the life of me, I don't remember what it's called, but there's like this, this grove of, um, <clears throat> I think most of them are like pine trees or some sort of evergreen tree. And there's like high def projectors. And so they project, they use this like dense grove, like pod of trees as like kind of the screen and they project the lights like on there and do a whole show. It's, it's really cool. Like if you're up here, I highly recommend, um, giving it a visit just for like that, that light show on the pine trees itself. That's amazing. Um, so anyways, that was kind of last night's event. We went out to dinner afterwards at Old Town Poorhouse in a town called Naperville, which is um, like one of the, the outer suburbs of Chicago today. <laughs> um, you know, I was able to find a little bit of time to sit down and talk with you, so that was cool. The the girls, my wife and, and her friend that's in town, went downtown. They're doing like the Chris Kindle Market, which is really awesome. The line, they sent me a picture of that. The line is like, I don't know, around the block a couple times to get into it. Then they're going over to another friend's house. They're doing kind of like a cookie exchange type thing. They, my wife made these like absolutely amazing. They're um, cranberry orange, like like cookies. I don't want to say sugar cookie because, but I don't know what like the base of the cookie is. But they're really good. Um, and then I'll go meet up with them afterwards. We'll have dinner at like a French restaurant here in town. And then tonight we're gonna go hit up the. Lincoln Park Zoo Lights, which is actually pretty cool. I've, I've never been to the Lincoln Park Zoo. <laughs> Lived here for six years, haven't been. Been to Brookfield Zoo, which is much closer to us. Actually, the running path I take ends pretty close to the Brookfield Zoo. But um, but yeah, so really looking forward to tonight's show and just spending you know more time with good friends. Tomorrow we have the long run. Um, we're looking at hopefully like 15 to 17 miles. Let me grab my phone. 15 to 17 miles and uh, just kind of continuing to ramp up the mileage heading into the end of this month. Um, real quick, let's do kind of the week that was when it comes to running. So we wanted to recap. I want to recap each week. It's a good exercise for me. So um, let's see. On <clears throat> Sunday, we were still down in St. Louis. To recap, 15 miles, good elevation gain in St. Louis, like 600 feet of elevation gain. Um, Monday was a total of like five and a third miles, give or take. Tuesday was nine miles, including a six mile run. And inside that six mile run was the five half miles, the half Yasuo video. Uh, maybe I'll link to that here or somewhere. I don't really know how to do that yet. I'm gonna, <laughs> somewhere I'll try to link. And if not, I apologize. But you know, I kind of did like a half Yasuo workout to get started. Uh, Wednesday ended up being like nine, almost 10 miles. Thursday is, you know, we talked about it. It's one of my goals for this block is, is hitting marathon pace more often um, in the block, just trying to like internalize that, you know, the pace that I want to run. So hopefully that proves productive, but we're already incorporating that like right now. Um, and then yesterday was seven miles with the wife, which was awesome. We got up before the sunrise. Like normally I do, the way it normally works is like I do the sunrise portion myself, the pre-sunrise portion, like that's my run. Um, and then, and then when I get back, if we have a run to do like with the wife, I do that after. And so yesterday I really enjoyed it. I don't know that she like super loved it, but I thought it was awesome. Sunrise was beautiful. The camera like doesn't do it justice. 
great time. Uh, and then today, just the five miles to like round out the 60. I'm sure I, I might not have added everything up because I, I was just looking at kind of like the overview on Garmin, right? Like this screen right here. Um, but yeah, so 60 miles on this workout week, and we're into the next one. You know, we are now less than a well, as of tomorrow, it'll be 11 weeks flat until the Austin Marathon. So weeks are ticking down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. I'm really excited about it. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed kind of the new surroundings. Uh, like in the little preview screen over here, which I, I know I'm really bad at this, but like I know I'm supposed to look here at the camera, <laughs> but sometimes I look like I look like over here because that's where the little preview screen is. And I know I should, I should get better about being here, but like still being new at this, I, I get distracted by a lot of other stuff, but it, the background looks okay in this. Um, real quick, so a couple cool things. This painting here, um, friend of ours, local artist, it's an original. Love it, kind of abstract, like fluid stuff. And then this painting here, also original to some friend of ours back in St. Louis, like is that artist. Um, it's also maybe I'll link to her website below. And then this painting, let's turn on the light. This painting here we got in um, when we were in the Dominican, I think, like one of the street vendors. So three original paintings. We have we have more around the house, but I, you, we we enjoy that. Um, you know, nothing super expensive or super famous. Maybe someday I, I you know I think they're talented, like every all these artists. So maybe someday one of them become super famous and very talented. They're all very talented, but we like it. Uh, I guess we'll make that like kind of the question of the vlog. Do you like paintings or, or maybe better yet, <laughs> like what is your preferred way to decorate um, kind of your home, your house, your abode, whatever. We all have different personalities and everyone's personality, um, you know, is, is amazing, unique in their own special way. So we enjoy these type of stuff. Let me know what you like. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.